Hi everyone and welcome to another Photoshop feature tutorial. In this tutorial, we are diving into the 6 coolest new updates in Photoshop 25.11. So grab your mouse, open Photoshop and let's get started. To access this feature, you need to update your Photoshop to the new version 25.11. Our first new update is the Selection Brush tool. To access this feature, go inside the Lasso group and select the Selection Brush tool. This tool makes a selection with a brush. For example, if you want to select a specific object, simply paint over it and it creates a selection of your subject or object. Here is an advantage of this feature. It allows you to create transparent selection. For example, let's create a brand new document. Select the Selection Brush tool. Go to the Option bar and decrease the opacity. Let's go with 60%. Now paint on your document. Now fill it with the foreground color by pressing Alt plus Backspace. Now if you select any other tool, you can see there is a transparent selection. You can also use the selection brush tool in your relative field. For example, if you want to remove a specific object from your image, simply select the selection brush tool, paint over the object, click on the generative fill icon, and type here remove. Now click on generate and wait a few seconds. And there you go. Using the Selection Brush Tool Opacity feature, you can also do skin retouching or other painting effect with generative AI. Just watch my other tutorial and use the Selection Brush Tool instead of Quick Mask. The second amazing update is Photoshop's brand new bullet and numbering feature. For example, select some simple text lines, go to the paragraph menu, and you will find bullets and numbering feature right here. Enable it and you can see bullets and numbers added to your text. This feature is not new but has been moved. Here is a simple PSD file with basic elements. Go to File, Automate, Generator Plugin and click on Image Assets. Once you check this option, look at what happens. Here is a text layer, rename it and type here .png. It seems like nothing happened but if you open the folder containing that PSD file, you will find a new folder next to it. Open this folder and you will find the text file in the PNG format. This feature allows you to save layer in whatever extension you specify. For example, if you want to save a layer as a JPEG, let's unlock this layer and type here .jpg. If you go back the folder, you will see this layer in a JPEG format. The new contextual taskbar offers better control when it comes to shapes and transformations. For example, if you select the rectangular shape tool, and create a rectangle. You can change the fill and stroke using the contextual taskbar. Let's change the fill color to green and stroke color to black. You can also adjust the stroke thickness and change the roundness of the corners. Using the contextual taskbar, you can rotate an image by 90 degree clockwise or counterclockwise. And you can also flip horizontally or vertically easily. The generate entire image feature was only available in Photoshop beta versions. But now it is available in regular Photoshop versions. This AI feature uses the Firefly 3 model. Once you open a new document, you will see the generate image option right here or here. Click on it and type here anything. So let's type here, cat looking at a glowing butterfly. 
we want to generate a photo so we will select a photo option from here from the effect panel you can select different amazing effects so i will select this effect and click on generate now you can see our image is generated Finally, the adjustment brush feature comes in the regular version of Photoshop. You will find the adjustment brush tool right here. For example, if we want to darken the sky of this image, so we will select the adjustment brush tool. From the top option bar, we will select Curves Adjustment Layer. And let's paint our sky. Now open the Curves Properties and control the effect. You can also add a new adjustment layer by clicking on the controversial taskbar. I hope you love these new updates. By the way, what is your favorite feature? Let us know in the comment below. And do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.